I was an atheist for 38 years, and I came to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I know who he is, and I am here tonight to thank him for all the blessings that he has given to us, to me, and incredibly the joy that I've been through uh, for this year undergoing cancer. And that's one of the main topics that we're going to have tonight. So it's not about me just enduring cancer and doing this and that. It is the joy that I've gotten out of what God put, you know, on top of me and the way to find joy in it, which we're going to spend a little time on. Well, we're going to watch a quick video and then we'll start our interview together with Ted. Uh, yeah, people say, how are you doing? My phrase, standard phrase for everyone that knows me is better and better all the time. And that's gotten to the point where even my, my buddies, when they see me coming down the hallway or where, hey, better and better all the time, how are you doing? And it's now today, it's better and better all the time with a couple of hiccups. That's my pancreatic cancer that has metastasized into liver cancer as well. Um, and the way this got started, uh, and I'm not promised you, I'm not making any of this up. I went into a uh, gas station that sells a lot of, you know, potato chips and everything else as well. And uh, the guy that owns it and runs it, he says, hey, better and better all the time. How are you doing? Well, better and better all the time. And he took a look at me and says, you know, uh, your eyes are yellow. Or is there anything going on there with you? So I went home, sure enough, the eyes were yellow. And uh, so we went in uh, to the doc and I got diagnosed and I had jaundice. Well, that was for a week before I got diagnosed some more. And that's where the pancreatic cancer showed up. And that's how I discovered that I had pancreatic cancer. Early diagnosis was great, it was stage one. We thought we had it caught, you know, in plenty of time just to take it off and then move forward. So I went in for the surgery uh, in Philadelphia. Uh, unfortunately, what happens when we went in to do the surgery, um, he opened me up and I had pancreatitis. The pancreas just blew up and uh, they couldn't do the surgery. They took out my gallbladder. They were afraid they'd kill me. It's a seven hour surgery, Whipple surgery and they thought I would not survive that. So he just closed me up again. Uh, was on chemo then for a while. We go back to do the surgery, and, but the one point the, the doctor made was if we see any other cancer, then I'm gonna have to close you back up. And by that point, it had metastasized to the liver. So again, I'm in there for only about an hour to two out of seven, and get closed back up, and then he lets me know we've got cancer that's moved into the liver and so we've got to put you just on chemo and radiation going forward and it got elevated to a stage four cancer uh, this was you know a year ago and frankly even today my doctors are stunned with where i'm at they've never seen anybody you know come down with cancer like this and yet I go into work, I, you know, can go out and go out to dinner with you guys, uh, you know, I definitely get hit where I'm in bed for eight hours a day too, uh, but I'm able to go out and do things and accomplish things, and I have had more joy, Chad, in the last year going through this that the Lord has handed to me than I've had in the rest of my life combined, and the main reason for that is because it has it opened the door for me to give the gospel message. <laughs> hey, thank you, Ted. <laughs> um, what do you do when you don't know what to do? I mean, for you, it's cancer. For some of us, it's divorce. It's a family crisis. It's a child with addiction. What do you do? Who do you call when you get that phone call with the kind of news? And I guess what I'd like us to walk through is how, like real practically, how you're able to incorporate um, faith in facing uh, the cancer before you. 